Greetings folks, this is the Runcam Micro Swift version 3 4 3 aspect ratio CCD uh, 600 TV line sensor Infrared blocked, it has one touch scene selection, wide dynamic range It's a, a really nice little micro body but with the full front cover and a regular size lens It doesn't come with a manual but you can go to a Runcam and there is actually the manual available for you there now now the unique thing about this camera is that it has a built-in remote control. Well that's what it's marketed as, but what they actually mean is that you can connect via this TX and RX connections here. You can connect the camera directly to a flight control board and set up the on-screen display uh, using your RC transmitter instead of having a little keypad. That's not actually a lot of help for me, uh, flying with fixed wing, but uh, if you're mounting this on a micro quad with a flight control board, then it may well be a more convenient way to set up the camera. Of course, once you've set it up, you don't have to keep changing it, so you can just sort of set it up once and fly with the beautiful uh, CCD image. To set up the on-screen display, I'm going to be using this Omnibus F4 uh, Pro V2 board. Uh, with beta flight 3.3.2, you need at least 3.3, I think, to be able to uh, operate the Runcam camera. And what you do is get the cable that's supplied with the camera, which has uh, voltage ground video uh, VBAT, that's the voltage sensor, and the TX and RX cables here that you connect to the RX and TX pins on a spare UART input on the board. On this one I'm using UART6, which if I was running iNav that would be where I'd plug the GPS into, but I can use that for uh, the on-screen display setup. Of course if you haven't got it mounted on a micro quad uh, with your flight control board already set up then it's a bit of a mess, but <laughs> there's the camera, it's going, uh, the RX and TX cables are going into UART6 on this board, uh, and then I have video transmitter over here, not using that camera. Then the video signal from the camera is going into the board and back out to the video transmitter. Got my receiver set up here, transmitter over here. I've got a basic uh, quad set up in there. In beta flight on the port screen, go across to peripherals and choose the run cam device in the uh, UART that you've decided to use. So, your stick to the right to get into remote mode. Your stick to the right again to get into setup. Pitch and roll stick to navigate around. Exposure, let's see what that's got there. We've got shutter, brightness, gain control, wide dynamic range, that's all good. Backlight, white balance, night and day, image adjust, all that sort of stuff, very good. Move the roll stick to the right. You can switch through the different lighting setups. That's very good. Elevator stick up, and you get into uh, setting up the alarm level. Uh, you can do the scene settings. You can position all the on-screen display stuff on the screen. System, pilot, timer, voltage, horizon off and on, all that sort of stuff. That's great. You can put your own name up there if you want to as well, as usual. All done on the transmitter. You can also calibrate the voltage displayed on the screen if you push the aileron stick to the left uh, until the voltage display starts flashing then up and down on the elevator stick to calibrate the battery voltage. And to get out of the uh, remote mode your stick to the left. So that's a pretty cool uh, system as long as you've got a flight control board. Now that I've set it up the way I want, I don't need the flight control board connection anymore, so I can just pop it on a plane and go for a fly. I've mounted the camera on my Ranger 1600, which is a great all-round cruising plane, just up on the nose with a 200 milliwatt uh, video transmitter. It's an overcast day, lots of wind, and it's uh, spitting rain a little bit as well, but uh, the Micro Swift 3 is doing a great job of handling the challenging light conditions. We've got bright uh, sun behind clouds over there in the distance. rest of the field is in shadow. 
or under cloud and uh, we can see everything it sort of handles it a bit differently to the CMOS sensor cameras this is sort of the old school CCD look which is very nice I have to say much more natural looking less of the over sharpening and jaggy edges uh, we're getting the sort of dark shading around a bright object uh, you can see down on the nose there's a sort of a darkish shadow just in front of it there Oops, starting to rain now and uh, I got reasonably wet <laughs> while I was flying this the DVR recording has actually cut off the bottom little section there. I could actually see more of the nose in the goggles end. I could see the voltage and uh, call sign and time as well. It's a very nice little camera. Great image. Great size. With the option of setting up the on-screen display using your flight control board, beta flight, and your radio control transmitter getting more and more raindrops on the lens so it's uh, getting a bit hazy there so uh, they're raining, <laughs> raining quite a lot now alright time to bring it down so there you have the Runcam Micro Swift 3 very nice little camera thanks for watching